it's very cathartic for me, as, I, as we were talking earlier. Right. Um, it's very cathartic for me because, as I mentioned earlier, I lost, the first time I ever did this work, I lost um, two brothers at that time. I lost, actually, I lost two brothers, my mentor, a nephew, and a best friend. So I lost five people. And then, to, and then I started doing Mourner's Bench. I got the history of Mourner's Bench, and I was like, I was trying to make it relate to me in that way, but Tally is in a generation with, he's in a generation with my grandmother, a generation that I've only heard about, they've told me about, but I've never really experienced. So I couldn't really draw from that because I never really got it, I never and seen. And you didn't have the privilege to meet him. Yes, and I didn't have the privilege to meet him either because I came in a little bit later. I came, started, came to DC, DC right after he died. And today, DC Severs, Jane Dayton Contemporary Dance Company. I came there after he died, and I always heard these stories about Tally. Heard it from my mentor, who's Lenny Love, my mentor is Lenny Williams. Heard these stories about Tally Baby. Always heard these stories, and I was just like, wow, I can't wait to meet him. And he passed away actually while I was in college, a little before I graduated. So I never got that pleasure of meeting him, or I've just always heard and how amazing he was, how hard he was on the dancers, but loving at the same time, but hard on him, and he really wanted you to strive for the best. And I heard how this man, Tally Baby, had to stand in a hallway at SAB, School of American Ballet, the school that George Valentine started, and to learn, take class in the hallway because he was not allowed in the studio because of his skin color. Mm. You know, that's, um, yeah. that amazed me. No, it amazed me. Yeah, he, uh, that amazed me for him to sit there every day. I'm gonna get up and go take class in the hallway with getting no corrections, none of that yeah. type of stuff. I'm just gonna take the corrections that George Valentine has given to all these other white dancers and I'm gonna apply them to myself. That's, made me have so much, I already had respect for him, but that really made me have so much respect for him. And then he, what he took with that technique and said, I'm gonna get this, what I learned in the hallway, I'm gonna get this to other young black dancers. That's what I like. That makes me love him so much. Because if it wasn't for him, he paved that way for me, for us to be able to get the technique that we have today.